Heavy rain is gone, but the clouds are really sticking around. I don't even know if we can see the moon tonight. Probably not. We no, no, it's overcast out there yeah. tonight. But I'm laughing, not laughing, but you know, the supply chain issues, I guess, it affects everyone. <laughs> They're waiting for a piece of Amazon to show up. <laughs> it's just going to be a while, I guess. Yep. We're all dealing with it, even the other one. All right, so here's what we're looking at. Yeah, we do have some clouds out there right now. They're a little bit... Uh, not as thick as they were earlier, but they are holding our temperature up 52 degrees. That's where we are right now. We haven't moved much. Our high temperature was 54 today, so just a few degree temperature spread uh, from the low to the high. And we will drop on down probably mid 40s by the time it's said and done, but nobody is close to freezing, even 44 for the Poconos. So anything that's wet outside right now, you do not have to worry about that icing over, over the bridges. Anything like that, you're going to be just fine. We have reduced visibility around the Poconos down about a quarter mile, Trenton at 2.5. Most places are fine, but just be aware, like this morning, but not quite as bad, you'll be dealing with a few areas of patchy fog tomorrow morning. Otherwise, just some light stray showers rolling on through. The bigger picture, we are done with our weather maker. We do not have a next weather maker in sight. So that's nice as we end the year. We need to dry out quite a bit. The area of low pressure responsible for this is over Ohio right now. Behind it, you see all this white? That is snow, the white and the blue, because these winds are out of the north. The winds around low pressure go counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. On the front side of that, on the east side of that, they're from the south. And so there's a major difference in temperatures between the west side and the east side. I mean, we're at 52 now. DC's at 54. You got 52 down around Virginia Beach in the Norfolk area, but back at Columbus, it's 35. It's 33 in Springfield. So you get the picture. This cold air is going to head this way. We have one more day with mild temperatures, and then we're going to see that. So 54 tomorrow, we start out with the low clouds and fog. I do expect some sunshine, and then we drop on back down. Mid 40s for your Saturday, Sunday. Both days are looking dry. That's for the city, Philadelphia, Wilmington, Trenton, up and down I 95. Down the shore, sunshine will be a little bit sunnier for the next few days. We'll go 55 tomorrow, and then we'll go back into the mid 40s for Saturday, Sunday. Same trend for the Poconos. A few more clouds for Friday and Saturday, with temperatures down near the mid 30s for highs, meaning. The nighttime lows, the ski areas will be able to make some snow again. And boy, they need it after some of these mild temperatures. A very warm December. We ended up over 50 degrees for the average high temperature. And so it's been uh, relatively warm. We get into Sunday. And we're looking, of course, at the Eagles game. It's New Year's Eve. Here's the way it looks. 9 in the morning, 38. Heading out to the game, 1 o'clock. Look at temperatures in the mid-40s. A light jacket. You're good to go. You can leave the umbrella and the poncho at home. Not only for the game, but for midnight, 37 degrees. It's chilly. If you're heading up to New York... You're not, and Times Square, beautiful. It's going to be great weather for that. Temperatures upper 30s or so. Tracking some showers potentially on Thursday, but a nice dry trend. And the guys over to you. Thank you, sir.